Mm. Dame on YouTube. Uh, we we kind of hit on this ar- ar- already a little bit, Dame, but I- I'm going to give you your your own answer on this because I think we might clip it too, but we'll see. Uh, Dame on YouTube. I'm days away from my first commercial brew, starting out with a two-barrel proof of concept system. Uh, I'm planning to use PAA for the sanitizer step for the fermenter CIP and for final rinse before filling bottles. He talks about the breakdown of the, the, the parasitic acid. Uh, first, would either of these additional active ingredients impact the accuracy of standard white to purple color change PAA concentration indicator strips? I don't think so, man. I, I think you're going to be good to go. Second, what concentration do you recommend using for these processes? So uh, we have some, and he says, I want a lower risk of oxidation, uh, but not so low the, that the risk of infection rises. Thanks a ton. First of all, you always want to, because I'm never sure who who the manufacturer is, different things like that. Please make sure that you are using the recommended range that your that your manufacturer, your chemical manufacturer is telling you to use. For me, my chemical manufacturer is telling me I need to be at a minimum of 150 parts per million of PAA. I would prefer to shoot for the lower end of that. And as I mentioned earlier in this podcast, and I'll mention again, you want to put yourself in a situation where you can do a fermenter, maybe pressurize it, leave it sealed overnight, and then in the morning, blow it out. And you've kind of given that tank a chance to dry. So you're really going to be able to minimize that uh, PAA's ability to oxidize the the wort that you're sending into the tank, because that is a real thing. So you're right to be concerned about that. I do have a concern about uh, you uh, rinsing your bottles before filling, because I I can almost guarantee that you're going to be stacking up dissolve oxygen or TPO or whatever the right terminology is uh, for that. In that situation, um, I know when we do cans, um, we get them. Uh, I believe uh, you know they come off the line and they get filled. Um, I almost, I, I almost feel like uh, banking on appropriately stored cans in that situation, which is how they're they're sold to us, right? Um, you know, not, not sticking your fingers in them and leaving the 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 slip cover on them, taking it off and getting them filled. That's probably the best way to be going with it. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's my take on that, Dame. And uh, I wish you, I wish you best of luck with it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.